How are blood clots in the lungs treated? Medications include different types of blood thinners and clot dissolvers. 1. Blood thinners or anticoagulants prevent existing clots from enlarging and new clots from forming, while your body works to break up the clots. Heparin is a frequently used anticoagulant that can be given through the vein or injected under the skin. It acts quickly and is often overlapped for several days with an oral anticoagulant, like warfarin, until it becomes effective, which can take days. Newer oral anticoagulants work more quickly and have fewer interactions with other medications. Some have the advantage of being given by mouth without the need for overlap with heparin. However, all anticoagulants have side effects and bleeding is the most common. Taking the medicine for a few months is important because it gives your body time to dissolve the old clot. And because people who have a clot are at risk of developing another clot, especially in the first few months. Follow your doctor's instructions about diet and medicines. If you take warfarin, you need to pay special attention to what you eat. Also, other medicines can affect the way these medicines work. Watch for signs of bleeding. While these medicines help prevent dangerous blood clots, they also make it harder for your body to control bleeding after an injury. Clot dissolvers or thrombolytics. While clots usually dissolve on their own, sometimes thrombolytics given through the vein can dissolve clots quickly. Because these clot-busting drugs can cause sudden and severe bleeding, they usually are reserved for life-threatening situations like severe PE causing shock. Surgical and other procedures. 1. Clot removal. If you have a very large, life-threatening clot in your lung, your doctor may suggest removing it via a thin flexible tube or catheter threaded through your blood vessels. 2. Vein filter. A catheter can also be used to position a filter in the body's main vein, the inferior vena cava, that leads from your legs to the right side of your heart. This filter can help keep clots from going to your lungs. This procedure is typically reserved for people who can't take anticoagulant drugs or when they have had recurrent clots despite use of anticoagulants. Some filters can be removed when no longer needed. Here are some things you can do to help prevent a clot during a long flight. Stand up and walk around every one to two hours. Do not smoke just before your trip. Wear loose, comfortable clothes. Shift your position while seated and move your legs and feet often. Wear knee-high compression stockings. Avoid alcohol and medicines that make you sleepy because they can impair your ability to move around.